Hello. <laughs> What's that? Hello. So last Saturday was the Books in My Bag bookshop parties. I promise this is the last time I will talk about Books in My Bag. For a little while at least. So I tootled off down to Dulwich Books where my friend Chloe works and had a grand old time really. I took my bookshop voucher that had been given by Books in My Bag fully intending to just buy one book. Obviously I ended up spending two hours in the shop and having a few glasses of wine so that didn't really happen. I bought a few more than one but it was worth it. So this is my haul to show you what I got. So first up is a book that I knew I wanted and this is a book that I spent my voucher on and asked to be saved for me. It's Sally Hughes' book, Pretty Honest. Loads of people are talking about this at the moment. I um, had a flick through my friend Alice's copy and then my friend Georgie, she's bought a copy as well. And loads of beauty gurus and people on YouTube have all been talking about it. So I was really excited. Basically, there's not many pictures, which some people have moaned about. But it just, like, there's a couple, and if there are some, they're all a bit arty farty really. But it basically just talks about how to look good, how to do your makeup, how to make a fringe look good, because I've never been able to make that happen. But it, it really covers everything, starting from what to wear when you're a teenager to how to age gracefully. So, it's a really good book. Um, I just like having a flick through it just before I go to bed really because it's too big to be carrying around and reading all at once but um really like it. So that was what I bought when I first walked into the shop. Then I wandered around for hours waiting for other friends to arrive and I had a few glasses of wine and therefore ended up buying two more books. The first one was Land Girls. I've just started this last night because I've just finished Oranges Aren't the Only Fr Are Not the Only Fruit. So I started this last night on the bus. Bendy books. Basically it's just talking about land girls during the war and what I like about it is that it's majority is just quotes from people who were land girls themselves just talking about their lives and what they did while they were in the women's land army. So loving that so far. And the last book that I bought with my own money is a book that my friend Alice raves on about and buys for anyone whenever she can. Any birthday she's like hey have this book. It's the selected works of T.S. Spivett. There was recently a film with Helen the Bonham Carter based on it, the young and prestigious T.S. Spivett, which I saw and really enjoyed. Um, went to see that with Alice and she, she enjoyed it as well as a film but she's like it's not the book but it was a good film so we both liked it. So I'm gonna get a reading on this. At Dunnage Books they have a bookcase that each shelf has each of the booksellers chosen books that are their recommended favourites. This was on Chloe's shelf as well. Loads of my friends just rave about this book so I thought frankly it's time I finally buy it and read it. Um, it is just full of beautiful little illustrations. Basically the boy is like an inventor scientist -y dude. So everything, oh it's just, look at these beautiful, beautiful illustrations and loads of footnotes and things. So it's going to be good. I really hope it's going to be good. Alice is going to kill me if I don't like it. The next book I got was a signed copy of Sarah Walters' new book, The Paying Guest. I actually won this on their Twitter competition so it was my chance to go and pick it up while I was down there. Sarah Walters went down to the bookshop recently and did a signing talk thing but um, I couldn't go because I think, I think I was at the theatre so I was really disappointed so then I on a whim entered the competition Chloe had nothing to do with it, they did not know that I am friends with Chloe no cheating happened, it just happened to be that I was the person who retweeted that they chose so that was really exciting so I got a signed copy of the book anyway despite the fact I couldn't go to the event so that was really great. Speaking of events, uh, Chris O'Dowd is going to be down at Zilege Books this half term and I am probably going to go. He's um, going to talk about his new book, Moon Book, based on the TV series that he's in. I've just called it Moon Book haven't I? Moon Boy. So this was just a little free sampler of the book. So I picked that up. 
And finally, because it was the Books in My Bag bookshop party, they were giving away the Tracy Ellen bags with every purchase containing some free random books. So, because I bought some books, I got a bag with some free books in it. And my books were great! Basically, they had loads of proofs cluttering up their office, so they thought, let's just give them all away. So the first book I had in my mystical bag of mystery books was this one, Succession by Livy Michael. Um, I'd never heard about this book before, but it sounds great. It says, um, Behind the bloody battlefields of the War of the Roses lies the sinewy political skills of a remarkable pair of women. So, sounds like women. I like books about women. This is going to be good, I think. So, got that one. It's quite a chunky one, but the writing's also pretty big as well. The next one in my mystery bag was this hefty beast. The 2015 movie guide. This is not something I would ever buy for myself, but I do quite like that I now have it. And um, basically, it's just... <laughs> it looks like a bible. It's just loads and loads of tiny little reviews of pretty much every film ever made. Well, obviously not every film ever made. But I looked at my favourite film in here, Conversations with Other Women. It's not really that well known, but it's my favourite film. It was in here, so, you know, that was a good sign. They gave it two and a half out of five, which... People don't like it, really, but I love it. So, yeah, ever want to know about film? Can't bother to look on IMDb. Look it up in his book, and there's a, like, three-sentence three review. For example, let's have a look. Let's go for a Halloween film. It's Halloween soon. The Nightmare Before Christmas. Is it a Christmas film? Is it a Halloween film? Nobody knows. So they've given it three stars. You get information about who's directed it and who does the voices. Highly imaginative stop motion animation feature about Jack Skellington, the Pumpkin King, who grows tired of his old routine in Halloween Town and becomes enamoured with Christmas instead, unaware of his brand of grand. Grand Gign Gignol and the winter holiday don't really go together. Constantly surprising visuals and character... I can't read big words. I think I just saw the Rugrats movie in here. Yeah, here we go. Rugrats the movie. Two and a half stars. <laughs> <sighs> Theatrical spin-off of the popular TV cartoon puts Tommy and his infant friends in a non-stop adventure which begins with the arrival of a new baby brother and escalates as the kids get lost in the woods. Funny and clever, with some likeable songs, even though, though even at 79 minutes it seems padded and loud. Followed by Rugrats in Paris the movie. So yeah, that's great. And the next book in the bag was... M and the Big Hom. I've never, again, I'm just rubbish at books, never heard of this, but I really like the cover. Like, really like the cover. And it's not particularly big. Should be able to read that pretty quick. So, that says, In a tiny flat in Bombay, Adele Mendez, M to her children, holds her family in thrall with her flamboyance and manic affection and cruel candour. Her husband, to whom she was once buttercup, and her two children must bear her micro-weathers and swings from laugh-out-loud joy to dark malevolence. That sounds great, frankly. And finally, I have Letters from the Front from the First World War to Present Day. And it's just a book of letters from soldiers on the front, surprise, surprise. Um, First World War, Second World War, and then it's got modern warfare, so like in Iraq and stuff. I love a book of letters and I love stuff about the war, if you hadn't noticed from me by Land Girls. I think I'm going to really enjoy this. I've been reading We Are At War by Simon Garfield, which is a fantastic book. And once I've finished it, I will talk about that to you all. But yeah, I feel this is going to be in the same ilk and I'm going to really enjoy it. So if you've bought any books recently, I'd love to hear about them down in the comments. Um, yeah, let's just have a little chat, shall we? Alright, bye!